let's have a chat with the executive chef, the vegan chef, and the food and beverage manager at Anne's Chesney Resort as we talk all things vegan food at Anne's Chesney and Jade Mountain. Okay, I, my name is Manuel. I am the executive chef from Manchester and Mountain, and we have our executive sub chef, Fran Faucher, um, that he's very focused on all, all the vegan uh, food and spirit and culture. Um, we have different restaurants, as how is Balabu, is more focused in Creole cuisine, make, uh, fusion with international cuisine as well, and then we have on the beach level. Uh, Indian influence with different, of course, multi different vegan options. Uh, in Jade, we have uh, international cuisine with mixed with some Caribbean and Mediterranean uh, fusions that bring all our dishes to the best way to see. I'm going to pass now to Chef Frank, but he will explain to us more about Emerald Restaurant, our vegan uh, cuisine, our vegan food, and and what is Anchester Net for him. Hi, my name is Chef Frank. Uh, I'm the vegan chef for Anchasne. Um My story is we have a great var variation of vegan food and um, it's all created by me, which is uh, Chef Frank. Also, we have a farm representing our restaurant, which is the Emerald Farm. And uh, with all this beautiful and lovely and tasty vegan food that we produce, all our ingredients is coming from the Emerald Farm as well. So our restaurant is called the Emerald Restaurant. Also, we don't we don't serve only vegan in Emerald Restaurant, but we have other restaurants out there where we serve other options. But if you are truly vegan person, when you come to Anchasne and Jane Martin, this is the restaurant you have to eat in, which is the truly pure vegan restaurant. And I believe in the Caribbean, this is the only vegan restaurant you can find. It's right here in that little cozy little corner in St. Lucia, which we call Anchasne. Okay, um, in coming into Anchasne Jade, um, because I've been around the world uh, experiencing different cuisines, different resorts, uh, cultures, the thing that really struck me was, as a food and beverage manager, was the staff knowledge and the staff enthusiasm into the, 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 the lifestyle of, of, of being a vegan and providing vegan cuisine. You know, it's not only just for the vegan, the vegan enthusiasts, it's also for the individual who isn't familiar with the vegan lifestyle vegan diet who wants to try something different because we're leaning the resort is leaning more towards health and 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 and, and becoming more aware of one's inner being you know the, we're, we're training our team members on living that lifestyle as well and that helps us to be able to pass that information on in our dining experience here at the Emma's restaurant and show up so whenever you're coming, whenever you've arrived, you know that you have to try Emma's restaurant in Anchester. Well, uh, the, the chefs, the chefs in the kitchen know me very well. When I come into the kitchen, they are fully aware that I'm coming in the kitchen. My favorite dish, which is the sweet potato nuki, that, um, that, that, that blows me away every single time. You know, uh, the, it's nice, creamy, fluffy nuki that, um, that, that, that it really sticks to the palate. You know, light. And usually the reason why I eat it is because at the end of the day, I don't feel full and congested. The body absorbs it very well. And I guess that's what vegan, being a vegan is all about. Not clogging the body. And this dish by itself gives me that nice full feeling. But then throughout the rest of the day, packed with energy, packed with good minerals and it helps me to feel really really nice throughout my day so that's my favorite dish there okay apart from our menus and apart of our vegan award we have in Anchester Net, we also have different cooking class that is been every thursday in emerald restaurant as well and one of the favorite dishes that chef frank and, and the team making is uh, emerald farm ceviche when they bring a different uh, roots and different vegetables from the farm and they mix it with different flavors and herbs 
aromatics, uh, the cracking the coconut in front of the guest, <laughs> the taking the juice, and everything is happening right away in front of you in life. It is, uh, this is one of the best dishes, the coconut uh, emerald farm ceviche from, by Chef Frank. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, um, I, am, I am the chef for the, the vegan uh, restaurant, and um, all, the, all the dishes, they are my creation, but the truth of the matter is, you cannot come to St. Lucia and do not try the vegan sweet potato gnocchi. And basically, the reason why I said this, because the sweet potato came from my farm. So, this is the reason why I'm saying you need to try the sweet potato, because the region where it's from, the sweet potato, it's more than sweet. It doubled the sweetness. So, you need to come and try it. And what, what makes it lovely and, and tasty again we add the cashew cheese to it we have a pumpkin puree we have the malabar spinach which is combined into this and uh, we have fresh truffle also which we add to this dish which make it which makes it a little bit wow so what i'm saying to you you cannot come to st lucia and do not try this uh, sweet potato vegan gnocchi this is the base trust me Great. And tell me about desserts. What dessert is a must have? Or should we just tell you, Chef, surprise us? Okay. Well, <laughs> the reality is, my surprise chef dessert is this vegan uh, banana parfait, which it's this con deconstructed banana parfait, which comes along with popcorn, caramel sauce. Also, we add coconut cream, fresh bananas into this. So, we are approaching mango season, which you're going to find a lot of different fruits in this ban uh, banana parfait, which makes it a little bit more wow than usual. Baby, 